Well, when I was growing up, I, I was an airplane fanatic. Uh, as far as my memory goes back, I was fascinated by airplanes. I, I think I spent every, every penny I earned mowing lawns and shoveling snow buying stick model airplanes, the tissue paper and, and a stick. Um, that evolved into uh, uh, the, the desire to fly airplanes. When I was a kid and home with the mumps or whatever, I'd cut pictures out of Look magazine of, of trains and planes and boats and stuff. And then um, one time my dad took me for an airplane ride. I think it cost five bucks or something like that, and it, like for a 15-minute airplane ride, and I was pretty thrilled about that. I was determined not to be drafted. It may sound corny, but I felt if I was going to put my life on the line, then I was going to do something I wanted to do. As soon as I finished high school, I tried to, tried to enlist and found out that they wanted two years of college before they would accept me into the aviation cadet program. So back we went to my little town of Coon Valley and I went to La Crosse State Teachers College for two years. In those days we had no television. We relied on the radio for news and the newspaper. And once a week they would show a, a newsreel before the main feature at the movie house. And in those newsreels I saw airplanes taking off of aircraft carriers and landing on aircraft carriers. And when I was in fifth grade, I said, I want to be a Navy pilot. And I did. I did it. I was a Navy pilot. And uh, I'm very proud of that service. 